Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. One of the common problems that happens around the house, especially if you've got an older house and you're changing out doors or, or, uh, or hinges to match the color of the hinge with the doorknobs, is that some of the holes are stripped. Your screw just kind of likes to spin in there and it's not gripping anything and it's not holding. So there is a, a very interesting method that you can use. It's an old method, but it works very, very well. Now in this particular method, it's called adding new wood. And you can either use a shim like this, a piece of pine, a paint stick, um, toothpicks, shaved off pencil. You're getting the idea that this is all wood or even chopsticks. So what you're going to do actually is, and we're today, we're going to use the chopstick because it's conveniently round and it's small, is that we're going to actually put it into the hole, snap it off, and that creates new wood. So my chopstick is just a little bit too large in diameter, so I'm going to just shave it just a little bit, just get a couple shavings off of there just to whittle it down just like they used to do in the old days. All right, so now I'm going to try that. I'm going to put that in the hole like that. I'm going to take my hammer, just tap it. You see I'm not wailing on it, right? And then just for good measure, take your razor knife and just give it a just a little bit of a line right there. like that just and then rock it back and forth and you got new wood now at that point this I just go like this and it's smooth across now when I put these other screws back in now watch this I'm gonna put the top one in I'm going to put the bottom one in. And then because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going dead center onto that other one, I'm going to just with my nail punch, just going to make just a little bit of an indentation in the center like that. And I'm going to put the middle one in. This is the one that we just put the new wood in. All right, so there we go. And I'm just going to very easily do it. Don't force anything. And as it's going in, the screw is separating the wood and it's making it separate against the existing hole. Just like that and it's nice and tight now I want to show you the one with the toothpicks so I'm going to take out the bottom one and we're going to use a couple of toothpicks now these are the flat toothpicks you can use round toothpicks if you want to as well depending on how big that hole is that's not doing very well what we're going to do is just fill it with toothpicks just like that now I've got three toothpicks in here and put all together tap it in it's a lot like using the chopstick so once again I'm going to take my razor knife and I'm going to just give it a little bit of a a sawing and back and forth and there now I 
tap it with the hammer and let's see how it works with the screw going in okay now I'm not using my nail punch this time because I'm putting it in the center of the three the three um, toothpicks so once again it's separating into that hole the existing hole and it is tight nice you did it now some of the older houses um, the holes are rather large some of the older houses the wood is actually split and you, you're tempted to put in a longer nail to go into into the into the uh, studs you know just to make it work just to force it in uh, now, now you're asking for trouble okay now you're asking for um, uh, it's not good looking and it's not going to work very well for a long period of time and yes if you've got a big split down here the more you put in there it's just going to widen that split because you got nothing to, nothing's holding it and is there a way to fix that yes there's always a way to fix something uh, as a last resort you replace it you replace this or you replace the entire door itself you know a brand new door is probably going to run you brand new door frame and the molding on the outside is probably going to run you around $200 uh, before labor to put it in so you, now you're looking at another 100 to 150 for that so you're looking at a $300 door or you can try and fix it and once you fix it it's good chance it's going to work pretty good okay it's not going to look brand new but it's going to look pretty good now you can do this this is easy I just showed you how to do it don't let anybody tell you you can't do it of course you can do it if they can do it you can do it just have them show you how like I did and please 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 subscribe push subscribe there's some sort of a button down here I know there is uh, just push that if you would and that would be wonderful thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video